Hey guys, it's Jordan from Fifth and Wellness, your medical esthetician. So I wanna talk a little bit about myself first. So I am a medical esthetician. I've been in this industry for 12 years. I've worked with every single device underneath the sun from cool sculpting to Morpheus to skin pen. So today we're gonna to kind of review Hailey Bieber's skincare routine, which let's just start off by saying she's absolutely gorgeous and I'm sure all the products she uses are great. But let's find out if they're great for her or for any of my patients personally. One of my favorite things to do when I'm getting ready for work is I will do a mask. I wouldn't do a mask every single day, obviously. Is she gonna wash her face first before she puts on the mask? But when I want a little bit of an extra glow, I go for a nice, calming, hydrating mask. So I'm gonna put this all over. That's a no. Sure it's evenly spread because I'm a little bit OCD. I would never do a mask first. In my personal routine or any of my patients routine double cleanse first then put on the mask um, and I typically would probably use a brush rather than my fingers that way it feels a little bit more fluffier better um, but let's keep going so what else okay. she has so mask is on something I like to do to essentially kill two birds with one stone while I'm masking is I'll put on the face mask and then I will grab some eye masks like these I really like these cool gold ones and I will put them under my eyes over the mask. Cute. So I love using gold masks. Actually doing this technique is absolutely amazing. Putting on a face mask first. And I'm assuming that these gold eye pat patches are probably 24 karat gold. Great for inflammation, de a decrease in inflammation, but also um, it's probably a hyaluronic base. So it's really gonna help her puffiness, probably has some caffeine to bring down her puffiness. But typically, I mean, I always would say wash and tone first before you do any kind of mask. Uh, but let's, Check her out a little bit more. Under my eyes when they're feeling a little bit more puffy, I will take a little tool like this. I love facial tools, I'm obsessed with them. So I love this tool. Originally this tool was actually made for a lot of injectors. So this is kind of what is called gateway theory. So basically the vibration before uh, injectors would do injectables, it kind of takes your mind away from the pain of the needle because the vibration is taking your mind to where that vibration is. But you can use the vibration tool to actually push product into the skin, which is absolutely amazing. I love doing that and it feels Great. Take a little bit of cleanser. I really prefer like a creamy hydrating cleanser more than I prefer. So she's mixing her mask with her cleanser. So she's not really taking it off. I would recommend doing that. I mean, what if you're using like a clay mask cleanser and then you decide to just, that's gross, but let's keep watching. Something that gets foamy and makes your skin feel really tight and dry. A lot of the time I wake up and my face feels a little bit swollen, like my lips are really swollen and my eyes will be swollen. So what I like to do is when I'm washing my face in the morning, I give myself a little massage like this, bring the blood flow into my face. Someone's going to see me doing that and be like, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Everything's off. I don't dry my face completely when I wash it because I like to apply my serum when it's still a little bit damp. So I actually prefer you to pat dry your skin. That way your product is going to penetrate into your skin so much better. It's just gonna right into your pores, right into your skin. I'm gonna use this really hydrating peptide serum. I really, really, really love peptides for the skin. I think that... What's the serum? It's one of the best ingredients to use. It's one of my favorite ingredients to use. I love niacinamide, I love peptides, I love hyaluronic acid. Those are all ingredients that I make sure. I typically would use a vitamin C before I do a peptide serum, but she's you know, using her serums, right? I'm gonna do the slightest bit of moisturizer over my serum before I put my SPF on. I wouldn't. Okay, so she, at this point in her daytime, she's not using any active products. So typically you always need a vitamin C in your skincare routine. That's the first product you're gonna put on right after you pat your skin dry. And she also didn't use a toner. So I typically would double wash, double cleanse, toner, vitamin C. The reason that we love using vitamin C is that it's gonna give you UVA, UVB protection from the sun, but it's also a natural skin lightener, tightener, brightener. It's literally your miracle worker in your daytime routine, period. And then I probably would have followed with her peptide serum and then her moisturizer. So let's keep watching and see what else she's gonna do. Before I put my SPF on, one thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on my face. 
the tiniest, tiniest bit. I wouldn't recommend doing this if you have oily skin. I always try to be really careful when I'm talking about oil. Now you could do either or. I typically would probably do my oils first. Um, because sometimes you get a lot of moisture just from a facial oil that you don't need moisturizer You don't need that humectant base using oils is going to super hydrate your skin and honestly give you that dewy glow So honestly at that point the moisturizer really isn't needed And if you're applying makeup during the day and you're using an oil and a moisturizer your, your makeup's just gonna glide all over your face and it's gonna look horrendous now this right here is a facial massaging tool that you turn on and it vibrates. So I would have used this tool probably with my mask, especially since she used like a really creamy base mask. It's just gonna glide over her face. It's gonna feel super amazing, but. Turn it on, not all the way, like a lower setting. And just go in. My last step of this whole entire routine is going to be my sunscreen. I am very big on SPF. I don't leave the house without it. I don't go to work without it. Even if I'm just working from home and I'm inside the house, the sun rays still hit you through the windows. Listen, an SPF is typically the last step. So she's doing everything right as far as, you know, having a skincare routine. A lot of the steps are a little out of place, out of whack. But I will say she's at least using really, really good products, peptides, things that are going to really help her skin in the future. So. Let's see what SPF she uses. So my final step is sunscreen. I know there's a lot of debate around how much sunscreen you're supposed to use when you apply it every day. The way I do it, and I am so down to be corrected, people can call me out if I'm wrong, but I use like one full pump of sunscreen. And then if I feel like I need more in other areas, I will. So I recommend two pumps. Um, it really just depends. Like if you're using a tinted sunscreen if you use too much you actually get like that roll off effect and it does not look cute but it looks like she was actually using a really really good sunscreen called elta md i'm not sure if it's tinted or not but regardless that's an amazing medical line that is like spf 50 50 and above is going to be like your best for giving you the best protection from the sun add more i use a tinted sunscreen just because I feel like it blends into my face and my skin a little bit better. Can't forget the neck. Can't forget the eyelids. The eyelids are important because the I will say putting sunscreen on the eyelids sometimes can be your worst enemy because if you're going to be out there sweating during the day, all that sunscreen is going to get into your eyes and it's going to burn like crazy. And you will be crying. There you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you guys. So the video is done. She's finished with her routine. I honestly thought the routine was great. There are a lot of things that I thought that she could have done differently um, as far as cleansing before putting on her mask and then jumping into her products. I love that she's using a peptide serum and a moisturizer and a sunscreen. Obviously moisturizer and sunscreen are gonna be your most important, but something she is missing is using a vitamin C. Haley, you need to go find yourself an active product that's going to change your skin completely. Fine lines, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation. It's your active product during the day. But overall, I think her routine was amazing. I loved actually the tools that she used. So go get that vitamin C and thanks for watching and subscribe.